Hey guys, today I've got another video. It's quite a different one from what I'm usually doing. But as you might notice from the antennas, SIM card on the side, and the front facing camera, this is an iPhone 4. But as I've just shown you, that is cracked. That's not good. So, what I'm going to do is, you might have been able to tell from all the tools and this back plate. Don't take a genius to look at it. I'm going to put the back plate back on. All I can say about this is when I received it, they actually include these, which is quite strange to me. I'm using my 3G here. But the um, this one, as you can, might be able to see, that fits. It's like, I think it's like an insulation in a way, so you don't get any static interference or something with the actual iPhone. Down there at the bottom, then that one, space for the front facing camera up there. Let's put that to the side. And then um, it came with all these tools came with a little suction cup so you can put it on and pull it up a guitar pick for prying which I don't understand because they have actually included one, two, three different types of prying tools see that one's a bit bigger than that one and this is like a massive pick which is kind of awesome and I've just dropped them it also comes with a three focus, focus, focusing on one probably won't do it comes with a Phillips, Torx, and a flathead. I think it's called a flathead, not too sure. But, I may as well stop. Oh, yeah, before I start it, I'll just say that I purchased all of this in total, including shipping £4.99, which is actually a really good price for one of these. Which, because some of the cheaper ones on the copies tend not, don't tend to have a diffuser in the flash, which this one does, which I was impressed about. And these, when it focuses, again, if it will focus, those little stand things, they are actually metal when the cheap ones are plastic. So if they are plastic, while taking it on and off, it might be a, be a, make a problem. Uh, Alright, I'm going to shut up now so we can actually do this. The two screws, what you need to take out, are located on the bottom of the iPhone, just below where this massive crack is. And I'm not very good at this, so I'm just going to keep doing that. One thing that you, when you're doing this, you'll have to be careful is look at the size of that screw. That is the size of a screwdriver, that's the size of a screw. They are very tiny. If you lose these, you basically, well, you're going to have to buy some new ones, which might, might not be cheap, I'm not sure, but it's just unnecessary unless you're going to be careful. These back plates are actually that easy to replace. I've seen people have made their own. You can buy different coloured glass and metal backs, which when I purchased my own iPhone 4 in February of next year, I will be getting. So once I've got the screws out, just push it up. Then it will. It should. It should, it says. There we go. It comes out like that. One thing I should have said, if I'm not sure if I said it, but before, but you should turn it off. And now you can see all the iPhone 4s. Watch, you can see the lithium polymer battery. You can see all the home button operating stuff. And look, nice camera, iPhone jack. Anyway, I'm going to get around to putting this one on. When you buy it, be careful because this has got a little film on the inside. I don't see if it would harm the actual iPhone, but. There is something there which, there we go, something there which looks like it's like a little circuit. So it's gonna take this off. I always love that sound. Can we buy an unboxing? Anyway, once you've done that, brand new iPhone back. What you want to do is you want to line it up correctly, which should be just above it, like so. Is that it? Yeah. Just line it up and push it down I believe I believe that is no that's not quite it is that it yeah that's it isn't it well that's it now all you need to do is put the back plate shut up put the two screws in the bottom right back in which the magnet oh, goes like those magnetic right knowing me with my, my big fingers and clumsy hands, 
be careful not to drop it in the dock because that might be a problem as well. So, like I say, I'm not good at this, so I've just missed it again. Well, wow, this video is actually longer than I intended it to be. It's quick replacement, but I didn't. I never thought it'd actually be this long. It's one screw. And line the second one up. And it's just going in. There we go. Oh, it's missed it. It's lining up. That is one thing that's helped with this tremendously. With the cheaper ones, the plastic ones, I don't think that the thread was already there, so you had to make it, so it might be a bit hard to put in. But there we go, that's it. Turn it back on. There we go. Oh, looks like it shines through the camera. That's pretty cool. Got brand new back on it, that looks... That looks brilliant. I can't actually... Apart from this won't be the original serial number. Honestly, I can't tell... A difference between that and this one, apart from all the well, obviously the massive crack. So it's got all, still got all of it. Look, and the FCC don't throw it away, and all the copyright and all that stuff. FCC and all the copyright. Is the iPhone font a bit bigger on the original? I'm not sure. Yep. Look, no SIM card installed. Unlock. And that is it. That is everything. Like I say, this was not. It's been a really easy install. This iPhone will actually be listed on eBay in a few days, so if you're interested in that, just send me a message and I'll send you a link, or even just put one in the description. And also, I think I'll probably put a link to the a link in the description to the um, back panel what I purchased for this repair. And that has been everything today. So can I have one more look at it if you really want? Go like that one. That has been everything for today. Don't forget to like the video, comment on it, and subscribe to it for, for more videos like this. And that's everything. Thanks for watching.